When Sunita Lal's ultrasound report mentioned a single loop of cord around the neck of her baby, she panicked and reported to me. Ma'am, is it because of something I ate or some exercises I did that the cord wound itself around the baby's neck? Will it harm my baby? Will I be able to deliver vaginally? And can I do something to remove this? I want my baby to be safe. So like Sunita, I see many pregnant patients coming to me with an ultrasound report reporting a cord around the baby's neck, asking if they should be worried about it and if they still can have a vaginal birth. So hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anjali Kumar. I once again bring greetings to you from Maitri. Maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. So today, let's understand why some babies decide to have a cord wrapped around their necks and can it really cause any complications. An umbilical cord is a lifeline for the baby in the womb. Running from the baby's abdomen to the placenta, the umbilical cord usually contains three blood vessels and is roughly about 50 to 60 centimeters long. It provides oxygen, blood and nutrients to the developing baby. Normally, the umbilical cord lies free in the amniotic fluid, but in some babies, it can get wrapped around the baby's neck. This is called cord around the neck or also called a nuchal cord. It could be wrapped a single time, two times or even three times around the baby's neck. The nuchal cords are surprisingly very common and are unlikely to cause problems during pregnancy or at birth. Almost 20 to 30 percent of all deliveries involve a nuchal cord and a 2018 study in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology said that majority of times babies do just fine when it is present. So what causes nuchal cords? Random baby's movements inside the amniotic fluid are the primary cause of the nuchal cord. Other reasons could be that the cord is extra long or there is excess amniotic fluid which allows more fetal movements. Now, it is a natural and a common phenomenon and does not occur as a result of anything which you have done like eating something or doing some exercises. And also there is nothing you can do to prevent the umbilical cord from wrapping around the neck of the baby. If it has to be there, it will be there. When is a nuchal cord dangerous? So in most cases, having a baby with the cord around the neck is not really dangerous. Most of the time, the nuchal cords are loosely wrapped around the baby's neck and they do not cause a problem. Even if the cord gets tight because of the baby's movements, the baby usually moves its neck to come into a position where the cord becomes loose. It's a natural response by the baby. Nobody likes a tight noose around their necks. Very rarely, a tight cord may be associated with a fetal growth retardation. But these days, an antenatal ultrasound, a good ultrasound can pick up these changes in time and a suitable action can be taken. However, Sometimes during labor, during a contraction, when the baby is attempting to descend into the birth canal, now the cord may get very tight, causing the blood flow through the entangled cord to decrease. And then we can see the changes in the baby's heart on the monitor. These days, in most of the hospitals, all the deliveries, especially the high-risk pregnancies, are monitored continuously with an electronic fetal monitoring, fetal heart monitoring device, which means we can continuously have a look at how the baby is doing. And it is easy to pick up any abnormal changes in the baby's heart and take a suitable action. Many times a tight cord around the neck may prevent the baby to descend into the birth canal despite good contractions. 
and in such cases an emergency cesarean section may be required. So please note and understand that a cesarean section is required because of the abnormal heart changes or the failure of the baby to descend into the birth canal despite good contractions, not just because of the ultrasound finding of a nuchal cord. Are there any symptoms of cord around the neck? No, there are no symptoms or changes that can indicate a cord around the baby's neck in the wombs. Nuchal cords are typically discovered at birth or on routine ultrasound. There is no way, no exercise, no maneuver to prevent the nuchal cords or to unwind them from the baby's neck in the womb. So what happens during delivery in such cases? So since the vast majority of the times we do not know if a baby will have a nuchal cord, it is a routine for us as doctors that we check the baby's neck for a nuchal cord after the baby's head is delivered. Usually the cord is loose and it can be easily slipped over the baby's head. Many times pushing the baby's head towards the mother's thigh also helps the baby's shoulder to deliver easily and then the cord can be slipped around the baby's neck. This prevents the early clamping and cutting of the baby's cord. Uh, remember, a nuchal cord is very common and the complications caused by this condition are very, very rare. Is normal delivery possible with cord around the neck? Yes, babies are often born safely with multiple loops of cord around their neck through a normal vaginal birth. In few cases, when the cord around the neck does not come off the baby easily, your doctor may decide to clamp and cut the cord and then deliver the baby. In very few cases of fetal distress during labor or the inability of the baby's head to descend into the pelvis, an emergency cesarean section may be required. Are there any precautions for cord around the neck? There are no precautions to take for cord around the necks. You should be just aware of the baby's movements. You may continue to eat, exercise and perform your daily chores or exercises as advised by your gynecologist. Does having a cord around the neck indicate boy or a girl? No, a cord around the neck is a natural occurrence and is not scientifically proven to be linked to any gender. There is no particular way to remove a single, double or multiple loops of cord around the neck. The cord can slip off on its own as your baby continues to move in the womb. In all probability, this cord around the neck is also not going to cause any problems. The only action you can and you should take is to stop stressing about it. So today, like always, if you found this information useful, do share this with your pregnant friends and do not forget to subscribe to Methree and I will see you soon.